Well, we had an opportunity to talk with three Effingham County CEO students about the CEO trade show that's coming up Tuesday night. It'll be going on at the Belma Keller Convention Center, and we'll find out the whens and things like that from our students that are our guests today. We had a chance from my right, we'll work our way around here, Jacob Bushu and also Sidney Webster and Sam Childerson. Those are the three students that have an opportunity to talk with us today. Jake, let's talk about the details. I mentioned it's at the Keller. Mm -hmm. When and what times and all of that? So it's on, on Tuesday, May 2nd, from 5 to 7.30. And you can come out, see us whenever. It's free. And everyone gets a bag, so you can pick up whatever you want from us. Yahoo. So, Sydney, <laughs> fill us in now. What exactly, if people don't know, is the trade show all about? So all 41 students have created their own businesses. So we'll all have a little booth set up. We, we're able to be creative and set it up however we'd like. And we're basically just telling people about what our business is. Some of us have products to sell. Some of us have services to sell. So people just come in, it's free. They walk around, they check it out, and just kind of do whatever they want and buy from us. <laughs> Sam, this is the biggest yet. 41 students this year in CEO. You're split into two different classes, and but this is a culmination, I guess, of a year's work. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think like just being able to talk to people about it is going to be really fun and talk about something that I've been working on for four or five months now. So it's been a lot of work, but it's definitely going to pay off now. <laughs> Let's talk, Jake, about the process of deciding what you wanted to have as your business. Oh, that was a hard one. So, um, for me personally, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but um, I wanted to kind of do something that would give back to the community. So, um, every water bottle that I sell, five dollars goes to Crisis Nursery. So you're selling water bottles. Yes. So, but not just any water bottle. Right. You'll have to see at the trade show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's going to be a surprise. I like it. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Sid, how about you? So I am really interested in photography, and Instagram is like my favorite thing, but. I have kind of job shadowed a little bit for Casey Tibbs, he's, he's a relative of mine, and so I have tried out using his camera and I really liked it, so I bought my own and I'm going to start a photography business. Very good. Yeah. What's the name? Perspective Photography by Sydney Webster. There you are, just in case you're looking. <laughs> Sam, how about you? Uh, so I went through like a lot of different uh, ideas in my mind, but I finally landed on uh, I'm making hair products for men. So uh, I'm making both the shampoo and the conditioner for guys, and I kind of stumbled upon this over the summer when I grew my hair out long. <laughs> I couldn't really find the conditioner that worked for me. It's either I'd find a conditioner that smelled really good, or I'd find one that uh, that didn't work well for me or find one that like really made my hair feel really good but it actually smelled really fruity because it was actually made for a girl. <laughs> so uh, out of my own frusta frustrations I kind of made this product and hopefully other, other people see the worth of it as well. So doing a little chemistry work here? Yeah, uh, so uh, kind of what I do is uh, I buy the conditioner in bulk mm -hmm. uh, and scentless and then I add scent using essential oils. and mm. so. It was kind of difficult to find out the ratio of things, but once I did, I think it smells really great. The process of deciding what you want to do is interesting, too, because I know some of you partner with other students, and mm -hmm. some of you do solo, and some of you do products, and some of you do services like Sydney mentioned. Talk about the process, Jacob, of deciding what it is exactly you wanted to do. Um, for me, it was, I knew I wanted to go in alone, but mm -hmm. like other people, they wanted to go in together because they're doing, well, there's only two that are together, I believe, mm -hmm. and they're doing a service, which is like being assistance for people, which, whatever you want to do. Um, but I knew I wanted to go in alone because I feel like I would learn more that way, and I don't know, just like picking the colors and stuff like that, like I feel like it would be hard with another person, but I think they're doing perfectly fine with it, so. Yeah. all right. City. You picked something that you like to do, mm -hmm. yeah. And you talk about talk about how that's fleshed out as far as do you are you doing location shoots or are you scheduling portrait sessions with people or okay so yeah so far I'm actually doing one tonight yeah. but I just have um, I do sports I do seniors I'll do like corporate photography if like businesses need like pictures on their websites of their building of their employees. I'll pretty much do anything service-wise, and then like when it comes to the trade show, I'll also have prints for sale. 
So I really want to stress like um, the Effingham area. So I have prints sold of like for for sale of like the Cross, the Heart Theater, the Courthouse, just to really keep that local feel like how important it is. And yeah, I kind of named my business perspective because um, it depends. Every person looks at something differently. So photography just really speaks to me. If pictures are a thousand words, I guess. Yeah. Well, we talked about Sam's process of deciding about the product. What are you calling it? Uh, Adonis hair products. Adonis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's cool. So Tuesday night, people can come by at their leisure and talk with any of you or any of the other students at your booth. I know that's also part of the process is designing your booth and what you're going to mm -hmm. include in it and make it eye-catching and all that. So do you feel that this is an opportunity to let people know really what's gone on through the year? Because I don't know how you compress nine months of work into one night, but, but it, it at least gives them maybe a representative idea about what you've been up to. Mm -hmm. I would say yes, yeah. 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 Okay. So it's again Tuesday night at the Keller Convention Center, and admission is free. Yes. Yep. yes. And they're writing me things to eat. I've heard rumors that if you go to the right booth. <laughs> yeah, there's like candy and stuff. Woo candy, I'm for that. <laughs> if you wanted to have a moment to talk to a junior student or sophomore student that's thinking about, well, you know, I'd kind of like to be a CEO, but I'm sure it's a lot of time and all of that. What would you say to maybe push them over the edge to, to give it a go? Um, for me, I would say, well, the, the juniors have already applied by now. Um, but what I told a lot of them was like, um, it's not just something that if you want to own your own business, it's not just like for a CEO or something like that. But anyone who wants to be in like a corporate position or just like wants to get better at talking to people or like get out of their comfort zone. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like if you don't want to go into health talk or something, maybe then just to become like a professional, it's definitely a good program. We have people like in our class now, we like have several people that want to be lawyers, nurses, everything. But this class is not just like business knowledge. It is a lot about business knowledge, but I think that's like a lot of business is life. And I think it's helped me grow, grow as like just a person, not in business, but there's so many other things. Everywhere we go, they give you stuff that they've learned through their business and they give stuff that, you, that they've learned through their life. So I think that's really my one of my biggest takeaways. Like they have taught me like stepping out of your com comfort zone. That's a big mm -hmm. thing. So like being able to talk to adults and like every situation. And there's just so much that you get out of that I don't know where you would find that anywhere else. Like there's so much I've learned through CEO that I didn't learn through school or anything else. And it's helped me be a better person so that when I go to school and when I go to my other activities, I bring those CEO skills with me. Okay. So. Uh, for me, I think it advertises a really high quality business class, which it is, but also I think my biggest thing with it is it turns you into like being a successful adult. Mm -hmm. That's what it, it has done most for me. For me, I'd say CEO, CEO is something that uh, you get out what you put into it for sure, and so you can get out much more if you put in much more, and I'd say it's probably about the most transformative year I've ever had and I feel a lot different than I was before, and I feel a lot more successful as well. Well, we appreciate the opportunity to talk with you three, and best of success to you. I look forward to seeing you Tuesday night. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't been, I hope you'll go. The CEO trade show is coming up this Tuesday night. Remind me of the hours again? 5 to 7.30. 5 to 7.30 at the Keller Convention Center, admissions free, and you can congratulate 41 young people on a great job that they've done over the course of this last year with CEO. Thanks, Jacob Bushu. Thanks, Sydney Webster. Thank you to Sam Childerson. I'm Greg Sapp.